I find it strange that some of the best of my ideas come from times when I'm either depressed or unhappy, rather than when I'm having fun and enjoying life as it is. Maybe it's the time I get for myself when I want to be alone that allows me to sort out my emotions into some great creation or at least an interesting thought or two. Maybe it's the emotional aspect of depression that makes me think, as if a looming cloud of uncertainty waves over my back, pressuring me to a lower state of mind. I'm able to think apart from the norm, criticizing what's above me, or that which I'm close to experience. Inspiration might show itself suddenly, unexpected and spontaneous, pleasantly appearing before my senses. I could be lying in bed without a thought in my mind, or even in the middle of a conversation with a companion, when I would have a random encounter with Epiphany. Inspiration might wander off somewhere, revealing itself at its own pace an ambiguous thought floating above my head for the longest time. Even forgetting about it sometimes, I rethink and adjust it whenever it decides to come back, usually when I experience the same sort of unpleasant feeling that I felt when I first had that vague outline in my head. With thought in mind, I burst from unsought pressure, a sudden shift from dejection to desire, a desire to materialize what was once undesired. I find myself in an ironic situation when I gain from gloom, when I rise from fall, when I become inspired by my own weakness. There is a beauty within emotion that, which is hard to both explain and to find an audience who would listen. So instead I sculpt, in an attempt to express that which I cannot do so in words, but only through my tools, my inspiration in mind, and my hands to materialize my ideas.